never undertaken before. Not issuing loans, not managing savings, not preparing statements. Instead, British banks are handing money out. Billions and billions of pounds. In centres like this across the country, the big banks are employing thousands of staff to compensate millions of customers who have been missold financial products. There's very little that you can say to defend it. For a large number of customers, it was a rip-off. We were too short-term focused, I think we were too aggressive, and we were too self-centered. Over the decades, banks had come to think of their customers as a commodity. Customers were viewed as a wallet, so we want a bigger share of their wallets, was this phrase that's still used today. In 2008, they brought the UK to its knees. Since then, the banks have provoked yet more accusations that they destroy businesses and ruin lives. We're going to lose everything, and it's truly just not fair of the banks to make us go bust. There is a real sense that on almost every front, banks simply can't be trusted. This is how the biggest mis-selling scandal in British history has come about. Banks may have to repay £25 billion. It's the story of the extraordinary journey the banks took as they changed beyond recognition. This machine is called an automatic bank teller for self-service banking 24 hours a day. And how millions of customers went along for the ride. If you got in at the beginning, the credit boom will have been very, very good for you. It's great for consumers, they're getting a better deal, they're getting better choice. With the financial system still in turmoil and beset by scandal after scandal, what do we want from our bankers? And can we ever trust them again? The Hotel Piccadilly on the south coast of England is famous for its tea dances and dancing holidays. Former dancing teacher Terry Flett and her husband Stuart were so smitten with this Bournemouth institution, they just had to have it. The hotel for me was a dream, really. That's what my wife always wanted. She wanted her own ballroom. The hotel sort of came with it. When they put in their offer in 2006, the Flets needed to borrow one and three quarter million pounds. 